Milan, Italy's fashion capital. It's not the place that you would go to if you want to experience Italian culture. But I stayed in Milan and in about one day I explored its center and I discovered a side of it that surprised me. Hi, my name is Tina. I'm a budget solo female traveler. I quit my job to travel around the world and I am now in Europe. It's been a while since I talked to my camera, so let's see if I can still do it. I spent the last three weeks ish also in Germany, but obviously my journey continues, but it's going to be a very long bus ride. So I'm going to arrive today at eight ish. I am finally in Italy, Milan. It was like about a 10 hour bus ride, 11 hours because we were like one hour late. I'm on my way to my hotel. this hotel room like last minute i was trying to find a place in couch surfing but that didn't work out it's like a decent hotel i paid a little bit more than i wanted to but also because milan is one of the most expensive cities here in italy pretty nice bathroom it's like a decent hotel time I'm here it's raining so this is probably not going to be my best video I have spent the last three weeks or so in Germany now the journey continues and we're now in Italy Milan again one of those cities where everyone's telling you it's overrated and maybe not a place you should go to the first thing we need to do today is to try to get a ticket on an app this app's called ATM. So if you're coming to Milan, would recommend this app. I think if it works, it's probably the best way to get your tickets. to get around in Milan is to take the tram or maybe also the bus. I paid for a one-ride ticket to Euro 20. A one-day pass costs about 7 Euro. So we're now at Santa Maria delle Grazie. Sorry for my Italian. It's most famous for housing Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. It's so popular you need to book it in advance. Santa Maria Church is most famous for housing Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece The Last Supper. It depicts the moment Jesus announces that one of his disciples will betray him. If you have a little bit of money left, you should try to get a ticket for the museum and the painting. But if you can't get a ticket, then at least check out a church. I felt it's a very authentic church. Okay. It's so raining. <laughs> I think I'm pretty close. I think it's the building here behind me, the Basilica of San Ambrosius. The entry is free. In order to visit the Basilica, you don't need a booking. It was founded in the 4th century by Saint Ambrose, the patron saint of Milan. He played a crucial role in the development of Christianity in Milan. I feel like that was a very authentic experience. I think even there was a service going on the whole time, but I saw like so, so many other tourists enter. Also, it was really warm and cozy inside and it's so raining. It slowly stops raining, which is nice. So I'm now standing in front of Sforza Castle, which was built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza. Again, I'm sorry for my Italian. It served as a residence for the ruling families here in Milan. Entrance is free, you just have to make a reservation. Regarding the fact that this is free, it's really huge. Like you can spend a lot of time here. Sforza Castle was built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza, the Duke of Milan. It served as a residence for the ruling Visconti family of Milan and later for the Sforza dynasty. 
This museum in this castle wins the prize for the largest free museum. I was walking around in there for over an hour and I was walking quite fast. When you come to the castle, you can also visit Park Sempione, which is directly next to the castle. I wanted to go there, especially because it stopped raining. But now, because it's quite late already, I'm going to the restaurant first and then... I found the official entrance. My first impression of Milan was very positive. I liked both churches that I visited in the beginning and I was surprised about how much time you can spend at Sforza Castle and its museum, even though they are free. There's already quite a long line here, but I don't think I have to wait that long, but I was expecting it. it tells you that it's a really popular place and that it has to be really good, right? I got my table. Many of them are outside, don't know how the inside looks like. This place is so famous because of its homemade pasta, by the way. It's perfectly seasoned. If I could, I would try all of their other pastas as well and just to compare them. I've been wanting to eat pasta on my entire trip. I haven't had a chance to go to a good place. This is definitely worth the wait here. That was a very good lunch. I paid about 24 euro for everything, which is really good. The thing that I probably like most about my time in Italy was the food. Pizza, pasta, gelato and so many other things that I tried that you haven't seen in this video. I'm now standing in front of Duomo Cathedral, the tourist attraction here in Milan. It's the tallest church in Italy and one of the tallest in Europe in general. I still have no ticket, so just let's pray and hope for the best. <laughs> Probably easier to buy a ticket online. Anyway, I'm here. You have to wait quite a while. You get a card and then they will call you and then you can. I got my tickets also to go up with the lift. It was 26 euro. I want to find the entrance for the lift first. He just told me it closes at four today. Uh, right and left. Let's see. The suit south lift. This looks like a lift. Let's see. The construction of Duomo Cathedral began in 1386. It took nearly six centuries to complete it, with the final touches added in the 19th century. It is considered a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. The Milan Cathedral is one of the largest churches in the world by area. Look where I am, I on the rooftop of a cathedral, but it's also kind of crowded. We had to wait a while, like, because there are so many people that you can't go up the stairs right away. You have to wait for 10 minutes. And then the fact that he just told me that it closes at four, so I have to go down again um, to be able to see the rest of it. Because I don't know how much it is, how pretty impressive. Oh yeah. You got a pretty good view, actually. They make you go down the stairs, but you directly get to the cathedral, luckily. Was a bit worried that they would need to find the entrance first, because, you know, it closes in about 30 minutes. If you come here, you should visit the cathedral. It is impressive, but I just in my head compared it to the cathedral that I saw in Sevilla, which was kind of even more impressive. Come early in the morning so that you avoid a little bit of crowds and have enough time to actually enjoy it. I had one hour to see everything, which is, nah, you know. Directly next to Duomo Cathedral is the Royal Palace of Milan, which has a rich history dating back to the Middle Ages. It was originally a medieval fortification and later transformed into a royal residence by the Visconti and Sforza dynasties. 
I managed to find an next job with a very long line. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or cry about it, but oh well. It's so cold, but you have to try gelato when you're in Italy. Also, I think it doesn't really matter where you try it. Like, the place is good, but there are tons of other good places here in the city. So, yeah. If you didn't know, Milan is known as the fashion capital of Italy. And what place best to visit to actually see that and experience that than the place behind me, the Galleria. Little fun fact, the Galleria was one of the first shopping malls in the world. And it's kind of a symbol of luxury and all. They have all these high-end fashion brands in there. I was of the impression that maybe because it's a shopping mall it's like kind of inside but it's it's not really um, you have to go inside of the shops but it's cold here so I'm not going to spend too much time here probably so this is basically what you can do what you should do some of the most important things that you can see in Milan in 24 hours in one day there are definitely also a couple of other things that you can or should visit in Milan just it's not directly in the city center necessarily I enjoyed my time in Milan even though it was raining I really liked its churches and the cathedral if you have a little bit more time I'd recommend you to go on a day trip to Lake Como or to explore some other parts of the city. Yes, Milan is not the best place to experience Italian culture, but it has still some very nice sights to see and if you plan your trip right, you will enjoy it. <laughs>